But I'm Ross, and this is a beer. This, this is Tatamagoshes. You can tell by the big bowl with the two heads. A uh, Russian Imperial Stout. This is an 8.5%. This big and bold stout is dark, rich, and roasty with chocolate and coffee flavors. I am this far away from it, and I can smell it. Oh! It's like elderflowers or something. And it could just be the fact that it's so high in percentage, and there's a, a dark, rich, definitely a rich smell off it. Definitely got some personality in there. No, no bitterness, no, no chocolate, no coffee. Just big, big, bold stout. That is surprisingly very smooth and easy to drink. There's a, hmm, there's a pop, there's a, ooh, there's a tang. The, uh, the chocolatiness is certainly around the edge. Doesn't come through in the smell, but ooh, yes, that is, it's not too rich. It is definitely rich. And not so much about the dark and the roasty. There's a tiny little bit of uh, roasted coffee and roasted malt in the background, but it's, it's a very sweet flavor that might not entirely be chocolate. The, the, the sweet chocolatiness sticks around. The chocolate sticks around, and then the chocolate slowly goes away and leaves you with this roasty, vague, slight bitterness at the end. So it's only a little bit of a richness up front. This is, this is more nine-ish. This is 859-ish, I think. This is good. This is quite delicious. Roasty, it's barely roasty with chocolate and coffee flavors get way more chocolate than coffee but you you got to agree cuz the uh, the roastiness is coming through it almost there's a bit of a smoky on the back end but the body of this is quite thick but again if we drive back around i would i would buy another one of these 8.8 .8 out of 10 it's nearly a 9 but there's a there's a fight going on which is affecting the smoothness ever so slightly so stick around for, as I like to call it, the dwindling descent into madness. You probably didn't even know what a sculpin was. It's a fish. <laughs>